Brand new at six, Cincinnati radio legend Jim Scott recently announced on social media that he had been recently diagnosed with ALS. Our Mike Shell sat down with him to give us an update on how he's doing. For the past several decades, Jim Scott and his wife Donna have made a home for themselves on their 132-acre farm here in Lawrenceburg. But make no mistake, Jim Scott is a Cincinnati kid. He has the broadcasting and community charity credentials to back it up. And then you just say a quick Hail Mary, and then voila. Radio legend Jim Scott says he is adjusting to life with ALS. Jim Scott, and this is my radio station. 700 WLW. Well, I don't own it, but I put in my time. Jim retired from radio in 2015 after a 55-year career living on the air in Cincinnati. He moved to the Queen City in 1968 and spent several years as the morning man and playing pop hits on 1360 WSAI. At WLW, Jim Scott worked along fellow radio legends like Gary Burbank. And this is Earl Pitts. American. And on occasion, he made his way over to the TV side. I think my very first time I was ever on the air in Cincinnati, it was around Valentine's Day, 20 whatever years ago, and you needed a sound effect of someone blowing a kiss. I called you. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Jim says he was diagnosed with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, on April Fool's Day 2021. But did he believe his doctor? He says, Jim, I'm sorry to tell you, but I think you have ALS. And I thought, are you kidding me? I said something else. Um, I said, it's April 1st. I just came from the Friendly Market opening day. It's Red's opening day, and you're telling me you think I've got a disease named after a ball player. I said, that's bizarre. Jim Scott has served as brand ambassador for local companies such as Kroger and Grippos, and for years has helped raise money for organizations like the United Way, the Salvation Army Red Kettle Campaign, and the March of Dimes. Now, Jim has a new cause to support, the Walk to Defeat ALS. It's held on September 17th at Whitton Woods Park. I have ALS. I've got a bit of a platform. If I don't use it, that's not right. Jim became emotional when he asked an older relative who is now in a wheelchair, what happens when you can't do the things you used to be able to do? He said, well, first of all, <laughs> he said, uh, I'm grateful for all that I accomplished that I never, maybe never thought I could. And then I'm grateful I don't normally cry for what, for what I still can do. So those are tears of joy. Jim Scott has always taken pride in the energy he's had. This is how I get up. Nowadays, he just needs a little help from his wife, Donna, to get him started. Oops. And he always gets a pat on the butt. You know, Jim Scott is the kind of guy. Jim Scott will give it his all. Well, Jim Scott, are you kidding? Well, yes, mwah, I'm here. right back at you. <laughs> oh, I love you. Thank you. Okay, Donna. Jim Scott said he will participate in the walk to defeat ALS a week from Sunday at Whitton Woods Park. In his words, he said, I'll do my best. Jim Scott always has, whether it's informing his listeners on the radio or giving of his time and celebrity status to raise money for a worthy cause. Reporting from Lawrenceburg, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. That was a fantastic job on that story, Mike. And, and Jim, I know you're watching, and Donna, hello. Uh, thanks so much for inviting us in. Yeah. And telling us about this, this terrible disease that breaks my heart that you got. And you are just a heck of a guy. You really are. And the thing is, is <clears throat> to talk about the hard stuff, to make things easier for other people, yeah. is admirable. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm sure you know what you've meant to this city. Mm -hmm. You've always been an idol. Yeah. Always. Yeah. You will be. Yeah, we love you.